It's the first day of October, and while most of us are preparing for fall and getting ready for Halloween, retailers are saying that we better get moving on Christmas and holiday shopping starting now. Shipping bottlenecks, production shortages, and rising prices are already impacting what's in stores and online, and the holiday rush could make it even worse. Trey Bodge, smart shopping expert at TrueTrade.com, is back to explain how to avoid delays and stay back on budget. Welcome back. So, Trey, first, just give us an overview of what's actually happening right now and what it could mean for the holidays. Sure. So thanks for having me back. It is a very complex situation, but essentially at the beginning of the pandemic, just kicked things off and created a domino effect of shortages, bottlenecks, uh, labor issues as well. And so my, I'm expecting things to really tighten up around the holiday shopping season. So I am advising that consumers start shopping a little bit earlier. And so given those potential shortages, do we need to buy everything early? Thankfully not. So the things that I would focus on right now are very specific items. So for instance, if a child on your list wants a toy, for instance, that they saw on a hot toy list, or if a teen looks for something on TikTok and it's trending and they want that item, those are the things that I would buy right now. If you have more general things like, you know, bags of coffee or candles or blankets, things like that, I think you'll be fine to buy those general things a little bit later in the season. Now, what if our viewers just don't have the money in their budget to shop so early and are still saving up for holiday shopping? Right. So again, I would focus on those very specific items right now. And, you know, many credit cards offer you the opportunity to spread out your purchases over a few months interest free. So I would look at that. And then also many major retailers like Amazon, Macy's, Bloomingdale's, Walmart, they offer buy now, pay later services. And each one of those services is a little bit different. So you want to read the fine print and see if they're charging you interest or not, or what happens if you default on the payment. But that's another option, option to spread out your financial outlay right now. And I want to follow up on my last question. So how do you suggest saving money if you're buying before all those holiday sales start up? Sure. So, of course, if we're buying right now, we're not taking advantage of those great holiday sales like over Black Friday and Cyber Monday. But there are a lot of tools that I would recommend that people use to save before the holiday shopping season starts. So I work with a bunch of these platforms. There are a couple that I'll share with you. If you're shopping online, I would recommend Rakuten. They have a browser extension called the Rakuten Cashback button. And once you install it, it alerts you to available cashback. It compares prices for you. It runs coupons for you at checkout. So that's an easy way to save while you're shopping online. And then if you're shopping in store, try another company that I work with called Coupon Cabin. I like their smart, uh, smartphone app because they have an in-store tab that you click on. and It'll let you know if there are available savings that you can use right at checkout. But there are lots of tools like this. Uh, you can look at Slip Deals and uh, Retail Me Not, Honey, lots and lots of great ones. So definitely use it one, at least one smart shopping app on your phone and one browser extension on your computer. I'm a Honey user myself there. And finally, what are the best backup options if you can't find what you're looking for or you do end up leaving everything until the last minute? Sure. So there are a lot of great digital gifts out there. So for instance, subscription boxes, I'm a big fan of those. And you can get a subscription box for a recipient with uh, with wine, with coffee, with clothes, with toys. There are so many great options there. And you can buy one month or three month or six month. So that's a really good option, especially for your last minute shopping. And I also love digital gift cards. Uh, you can buy those and get them very, very quickly. And you can even personalize them. There's a company I work with called perfectgift.com, where in just a minute or so, you can create a personalized gift card with your own photo or artwork on it and a personalized message, and those ship in a day or two. So even if you're pushing things until the very last minute, you have lots of great digital options to check out. It's October 1st, but we're already talking holiday shopping. Thank you, Trey Bodge, our smart shopping expert at TrueTrey.com. Thanks for having me. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.